Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Hannah. This is Jar of Fireflies and here I make videos all about my life as an Orthodox Jewish homeschooling mother of three. And in today's video, I'll be taking you along for a week in my life, which will include Yom Kippur. Okay, so it is Sunday right now and I'm going to be taking you guys along for the whole week. Now, I cannot film on the day of Yom Kippur, but I can film that night and I can film the day before going up into it. So you will be able to hear all about it. Okay, so y'all saw that I got my day started pretty much the usual way, coming out, washing my hands, doing my morning praying, things like that. I did put off breakfast though until the kids got up and I made us all pancakes. I was really in the mood for pancakes this morning, but I don't like to cook while the kids are asleep because I'm convinced that the smell is going to wake them up and I'll lose my quiet time in the morning. Maybe that's just me. Oh, I don't know. So today we don't really have any big plans. It's just kind of putting the house back together after Shabbat and all of that. I mean, last week was a busy week with Rosh Hashanah and Shabbat and all of that. So today's just kind of like a day to catch up on laundry, get the dishes done and clean the house a little bit. Just kind of all of those little things that uh, pile up on Shabbat and during a very busy week, which was last week. So, so that's kind of where we're at right now and let's just go get this party started. Okay, so while I was taking care of cleaning around the house and things like that, my husband and the kids came out and they put together our sukkah. Okay, I'm not even gonna go in there right now. <laughs> okay, let me come out here and I can show you guys. So how fun is this? Okay, so after Yom Kippur, we will finish putting this together by putting on the top and, and then I can come out and I can decorate and get everything ready for Sukkot. But that'll be after Yom Kippur, which is on Thursday. So I probably will not do this until like next week. In the meantime, I'm just heating up some leftovers here for the kids and I. We all such a late breakfast with the pancakes that it's, what is it now? It's like 3.30 and this is kind of like an early dinner. So we we'll probably have to have a movie night later and a snack. So. Okay, consensus is yes. All right. <laughs> okay, friends, it's about five o'clock right now and the kids are outside playing in the backyard. And I'm just gonna clean up here in the kitchen a little bit from our dinner and then spruce up the living room a little bit and get us ready for a movie night. So I'm gonna call Sunday a close and I'll be back in just a few moments with Monday.
Good morning, friends. Okay, it is Monday right now, and I'm being a little bit quiet because the boys are still asleep. It's very early. My daughter woke up at like 6.30. Don't know why, but she went back to bed, but she's still awake right now. But anyways, I did not sleep that much last night. Last night was one of those nights where, you know, kids needed a drink of water in the middle of the night and somebody else wasn't coming and tell me they were scared. And so they were coming in so much last night that I didn't really sleep that much. And then by, I think it was like 3.30, 4 in the morning when I was woken up by a child. At that point I was like, okay, I just can't, I can't get back to sleep anymore. So I did stay in bed for a little bit and then I came out here and I made my tea. I started my morning prayers and I started doing some baking. I've got some morning glory muffins in the oven. And when that's done, I'll have this bread back here behind me ready to go in the oven. So yeah, just getting ready for Shabbat a little early this week. I did not finish praying because it was too early for some of the prayers. Some of the prayers that I say have like an earliest to say time. So I have to wait a little bit longer to say those last couple of prayers. But I am mostly done. And once I get these things in the oven baking, then I can go and do that. But that's kind of where we're at right now. And uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna finish up a little bit of this baking and I'll check back with you guys here in a little while once the kids are up and something more interesting is happening. <laughs> Okay, so the muffins are out of the oven, the bread is in the oven. I just posted my video a little bit ago, so I'm just sitting in here kind of chatting with you guys in the comments, because it is Monday. And yeah, my son's Dexcom is being a jerk right now. So my son has type 1 diabetes, and one of his medical equipment things is called the Dexcom, and that tells me what his blood sugar is. Only it keeps telling me that his blood sugar is like crazy low, only it's not. Every time I go in to poke him, like to do like an actual blood draw and test that, it's perfect. His blood sugar is like 85. I love it. So that's a little frustrating. I, I poked him like five or six times this morning. That was another one of the things that was keeping me up last night, but that's okay. I'm still very grateful for the equipment either way. So anyhow, I'm gonna get back to chatting with you guys here in the comments for a little bit on the video and that bread will come out here in a minute. And anyways, I will check back later when the kids are awake. My daughter did finally fall back asleep. So everybody's asleep right now and I'm gonna enjoy this peace and quiet here for myself. All right, see you guys in a little bit. Okay, change of location. We have left the house. We're at the post office right now. And I just got my PO box. I am so excited. So I will post that address in the description box of this video. And then again, in the about section of my channel page. So right now we're just trying to, we got the keys. And so we're just trying to find the box so we know where it is here in the post office. And we're gonna open it up, I guess, and look at it empty. So the kids are looking for the box. Did you find it yet? No, still Not yet, okay. Is it a big or small package? It should be this size. Okay. Oh, it's Seven, nine, five, six. Oh, what's this right here? Seven, nine, five. Okay, you want to open it up? Uh, no. I want to. Put the key in? It's this one. Yes, yeah, this one. That one. Now open it. This one. It's open. It's empty. Yes, oh. it is. What? Why? Well, nobody knows the address yet. I have to tell them the address. <laughs> okay, so now I've got a P.O. box and now I know where it is, so this is super fun. Okay, you guys ready to head back home? Okay, so we decided to stop off here at a playground on the way home and the kids are just having a good old time. We're gonna be here for maybe, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes and then we'll get home, get something to eat and have just a really chill afternoon now at this point. Oh, and I did want to just clarify because this ends up coming up sometimes. This is a wig. This is not my hair. You are not seeing my hair right now. I don't leave the house. I almost dropped that. I don't, <laughs> I don't leave the house and, and bring my hair down. This is a wig. So my real hair is still totally covered up under there. If you're interested in more of that, I did a video all about different kinds of hair coverings that I wear and uh, I show you my wigs in that video, but I'll link to that in the description box below also. Okay, I'm gonna go back to watching the kids play and we'll, we'll catch you guys later on today. 
Hello again. All right, so it's a little bit after four o'clock right now. We came home after the park and had a nice lunch. The kids had macaroni and cheese and fruit and applesauce, and I had chicken tacos because tacos are everything. And then we just spent some time in the afternoon just kind of chilling out and relaxing because I know we have a really big day tomorrow. And the kids also helped each other clean their rooms, which was so super cute. And right now they're in working on some computer programs for schools so that they're doing some math and reading stuff in my study right now. I'm really just gonna spend the rest of the evening getting ready for tomorrow. We're headed out to the river with some friends tomorrow, so whole big day trip thing. I wanna make some food and gather some things together so that once we wake up, we can pretty much just throw stuff and children in the car and head out. So that's what's going on here right now, and I will check back with you guys in a few moments when it is tomorrow. Good morning. Okay, it is Tuesday right now and we are getting ready to head out. Kind of, I mean, two of the kids are still asleep. One of my kids is awake and he's getting dressed and ready to go. The other two are still asleep and I may just try to like move them into the car sleeping. We will see about that. But I've got everything laid out here behind me that we need to take with us. And I just kind of have to put all of that in the car and pack up the cooler and I think throw like a couple more things in here. So that's kind of where we're at right now. I didn't sleep super well again last night. I know, shocker. I woke up at like two in the morning because the dog wanted to go out. So I took her outside, ran around the backyard a little bit and brought her back inside. But of course, by that point, I was quite wide awake, but that was good because diabetes was being a super jerk last night. So I had to deal with that also. And I finally got back to sleep maybe around like four and woke up at like six. So yay, <laughs> but that's okay. We are gonna have a fabulous time today, no matter what. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and start loading the car and getting those last couple things ready, get the kids up and we'll hit the road. All right, we made it. it. Took a little bit longer than I would have liked because I took a couple of wrong turns and there was a bit of traffic. That was because of the time that we left. But we're pretty much on the schedule that I was hoping to be, so that is good. And we're here, we're the first ones here. We're in Glen Rose, by the way, Glen Rose, Texas. And we are at Dinosaur Valley State Park. And we're about to see some dinosaur footprints. You guys wanna see it? So yeah, really could not ask for better weather today. It's overcast and nice and cool. So we're not gonna get all sunburn or anything like that today or too hot and wanna go home. I think it's gonna be a perfect day. Hey folks, if you are enjoying this video, go ahead and hit that like button. I would super appreciate it. And if you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I would love to see you here again.
Okay, so we checked out some dinosaur footprints at a couple of the sites they have here at the park, hence the name Dinosaur Valley State Park. And then we went down to this like rock, rocky beach area and hung out there playing in the river. It was so much fun. There were like some shallow parts and some deeper parts. So everybody had where they wanted and the water was perfect. Probably like maybe 72 degrees, like nice and cold, but then like you kind of warm up to it and it just feels very refreshing. But it's getting a bit hot now. It's a little after two o'clock. So we're gonna head over to the gift shop and get some ice cream and hang out over there. Okay, so the park's starting to get a little bit more crowded here now in the afternoon, but we're still having a blast. We just finished our ice cream over here. There's a little pavilion we sat under and enjoyed our ice cream looking out at these big dinosaur statues. And now the kids are over here playing in a big sandbox. The sun was just getting to be a little bit much down there at the lake after the clouds kind of broke up a little bit. So we're gonna go over to a playground that was in a nice shady area and hang out there for a little while. All right, so we came over here to a playground and a picnic area, and we're just gonna hang out here for a little bit. It's gotten a little bit cloudy again, but I don't wanna be out here too late because I do wanna be able to make it home before it gets dark. So we're gonna hang here for a little bit, play at the playground, then have some dinner and head out. Okay, so the kids got a little bit done there on the playground. We thought we would stay there and have dinner, but now we're gonna head over instead to our friend's RV park, which is right next to the state park here, and have our dinner there instead. So that'll give them a little change of location and it will give them a little bit more activities to do because there are things to do there at the RV park. So that is the current plan. We're just gonna roll with it, okay. Okay, so we are about to hit the road and head home. It's about six o'clock right now, so a little bit later than I wanted to get on the road, but that's totally okay. So yeah, gotta tear the kids away from this playground over here. We just finished up dinner with our friends. We had some chicken strips and some fruit and pretzels and our friends made hot dogs over the fire and just everybody had a blast. I'm excited, perfect end to a perfect day. And I bet my kids fall asleep within about two minutes of getting in the car. So I'm gonna call today a close and I'll see you again in a few moments when it is tomorrow. Hey friends, good morning. Okay, so started my day again the normal way. Everybody's up now, it's kind of mid-morning right now. 
and Yom Kippur starts tonight. I don't think that I'm going to film a whole lot today because today is quite frankly, very boring until we get to later on closer to the start of Yom Kippur later on this evening when we have our meal right before the fast and kind of get ready to go into the fast. So yes, Yom Kippur is a fast day. I did a video last year where I talked about what Yom Kippur is, kind of what we do on Yom Kippur and things like that. So I will link to that in the description box below. So if you're interested in kind of a little bit more about what Yom Kippur is and what we do on Yom Kippur, you can jump back there. But basically Yom Kippur is a fast day. We start the fast night, it ends tomorrow night. It is a complete and total fast. There is no food, there is no water, nothing it is our day of atonement. So we really pretty much spend the day in prayer. And of course, as a mom, I still have to mom. <laughs> My husband and I still have to parent their children. My children still eat. Children do not fast. So children are not allowed to fast. So we will still be taking care of them and feeding them and all of that throughout the day. But I will recap all of that, how our day actually goes down tomorrow night after the fast. So for now, I'll turn the camera off and we're just going to spend the day hanging out, relaxing, drinking water, and getting ready for the fast tonight. Okay, I am back. It is getting on five o'clock right now, so I'm gonna start getting ready. We're gonna eat our last meal at about six o'clock, so I wanna make sure that I'm showered and totally ready before then. And the big thing that I wanna remember to do tonight is to brush my teeth. If I go after dinner and forget to brush my teeth, then the fast starts and I don't do like my normal brushing teeth before bed, I'm like miserable the next day. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to remember to do that because I cannot brush my teeth on Yom Kippur. I pretty much spent the day just putting away some laundry and cleaning up the kitchen and things like that and just kind of relaxing and just taking it easy, doing a little like computer stuff in here, like work stuff. And then the kids were just pretty much playing all day and they did clean their rooms and help me out a little bit with some of the stuff around the house. And my husband has been in and out of work and rest scene also as well as he did all the cooking for our final meal tonight before the fast okay so that's what's happening now i'm gonna go get ready and i will pick you guys up again at dinner I set the table very simply just with the plates and napkins and stuff so we could have our meal and I made sure to put lots of different varieties of water on the table. We had sparkling water and flat water and then my husband started bringing out the food that he had made. He made these amazing potatoes that he bakes for a really long time and they're like all spiced and stuff. They are so mouthwatering delicious. And then he made this blackened chicken, which the kids thought was a little bit too spicy, but I thought was spot on perfect. So delicious. And then, of course, we had a small loaf of challah because we wanted to make sure that we had bread at this meal as well. Okay, so we're just finishing up our meal right now. I need to go back in there and bench here in a second, that blessing after we finish eating a meal. And then it'll be time to start the holiday here in about 30 minutes or so. I'm feeling totally in the zone already, just kind of like, I don't know, like just a lot of emotions. There's just so many feelings right now going into this. And I just, I wanted to go ahead and pop in here real quick to sign off for today now because I'm just feeling all the things and I just want to be like focused on what Yom Kippur is and what I need to be doing on Yom Kippur here the rest of the time that I have before it actually starts. So going to go back in there, finish the rest of my food, say that after blessing, hang out for a little bit more until it's time to light candles and I will light my candles and the holiday will begin. Okay, I will be back tomorrow night to give you guys a recap of how Yom Kippur went for us. And uh, so yeah, so I will see you all in a few moments when it is tomorrow. <laughs> Hey friends, okay, so it is actually Friday right now, not Thursday night. I did not pop back on last night to do a recap because Yom Kippur did not go at all how I had planned. I mean, not that life ever goes exactly how you planned, but this was just not at all what I thought it would be. Sorry to be like incredibly vague right now, but I'm just not ready to talk about it right now. 
So, you know, I had planned to make this video include a recap of Yom Kippur that I was going to film last night and then film some today getting ready for Shabbat. But instead, I am just going to close the video here and just close the video here. So, again, sorry being a little vague here, but I appreciate your patience with me right now and your understanding. So anyways, I, like I said, I'm just going to close out here for now. I hope that you all have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you in my next upload. What time is it? Okay, so y'all started. Anyhow, so I was gonna film in the. When you do these little videos, do you do them without sound? Yeah, I take the sound out. Okay. Because otherwise, I'm gonna be that idiot saying something stupid in the background of your vlog. I'm totally leaving that in now. <laughs> Thanks. I feel like we had a plan.